first one, uh, most important, is to build your base. So I'm really talking to the footballer that is currently in season. Uh, and as we know, the best time to build your base is in the off season. However, I have known some footballers uh, that have successfully improved their aerobic capacity uh, in season. So it can be done. Uh, you want to do it with, um, uh, you know, in taking into account that you don't want to just suddenly go from not doing any extra running at all and just training twice a week and playing on a game to now doing an extra three runs a week, of course. You need to make sure you, you, you're playing it smart. You're timing your extra work around the times that you're training would be the most important thing. So you still get your recovery windows and you're not on legs you know, more than five days a week, but you're still getting those um, that time in between uh, running. Uh, is really, really important. Tip number two would be football fitness. So we want to test the athlete's ability to concentrate under fatigue. So this is where we're going to throw lots of different stresses at them in a football setting. So th for these mixed fizz sessions, we want to have football drills. So if it's in the off season, uh, try and getting a few athletes, a few teammates together, a minimum of six would be ideal. Um, we want to be doing some high speed running. So for the research, that's typically 19.8 Ks per hour. Um, so we want to be working at, at that speed or 5.5 meters per second. We want to be getting some sprint distance exposure. So for, for athletes, that's around 80% of their max velocity uh, or for the research that's you know, moving at 25.5 Ks per hour, around seven meters per second. And then we want to be doing that aerobic work that I talked about before as well. So like some max distance runs or um, some longer efforts where the heart rates uh, starting to get up and the rest period is really low. Moving over to the, the third tip, technical proficiency. So we can do all the capacity work in the gym, getting you know, being able to lift heavier, lift faster, um, be able to improve our 2K time trial, our aerobic capacity is up, our repeat, repeat speed efforts is up, our contest work is up. But if we don't move efficiently, um, we don't have a um, profession technique, um, with our where we're producing force on the ground, like with our acceleration work, with our change direction angles, um, and with our slow running, is if it's not efficient, then we're either going to uh, lend ourselves to injury, or we're just not going to be putting the um, getting maximum bang for buck out of all that capacity you do have. It's not going in the right direction into the ground. So that um, connection with foot to ground is really important, and also from foot, knee, and hip that um, chain, making sure it's all working together in coordination and the timing is really efficient. So like I said, we want to microdose our sprint and agility. This is more specifically talking about in pre-season. So if you're doing three pre-season sessions a week, I'd like you to um, work on your sprinting technique as well as breaking it down into either, if you've got three sessions, there might be two of those sessions in the current block that we're in. On the Monday and the Friday, let's say, we work on your acceleration. So we're doing like heavy uh, sled sprints, chain sprints, um, and we're also just in banded sprints. We're working on just open your first 10 metres, first five metres. Um, so really working on that short end, first three steps, explosive out of the gate because you're going to do, you know, for some of you, probably a couple hundred of those a game. So they're really specific and really important for football. Uh, and then your more open-ended sprinting. So maybe once a week where we do max velocity work, perhaps this is on Wednesday, let's say, where you're now using the centre square to open up and hit uh, at least 90% of your max velocity. 